Elton, thank you very much for inviting us to the, for coming, the south of France and some much needed sunshine. I know, I'm, I must admit, it's so great to be out of England and the horrible weather. It's so peaceful. It's really, it's really a wonderful place to be. You've become a dad since I last saw you. How is, she says, getting emotional? How has yeah. fatherhood changed you, Elton? It, I think it changes everybody. Um, it's the most wonderful thing that you could possibly go through. Um, I regret a little bit that I didn't do it sooner, but he's changed our lives. Everything is about him now. You just have to look at that film to see that he's bursting mm. with pride, and he's like any parent, Kate, just dying to show you his little boy. He's very protective of Zachary. Zachary travels all over the world with him, and he's never allowed him to be filmed. And yesterday, it just came a moment Zachary sat on his lap, Aww. and he just said, I'll share a bit of that with you. What do the monkeys go? <laughs> Say broad bean. <laughs> it was the moment your family had waited 18 years to see two men finally convicted of killing Stephen. What was it like for you, Neville, when you heard those guilty verdicts? It's like you're, you're underwater and you was holding your breath. But that is why we've made dementia a national priority for the but government. you haven't. Sorry to interrupt you there. The report says you have not made dementia a priority. Despite promises, and I quote, despite promises to do that, not much has happened since the strategy was launched a year ago and the Department of Health doesn't know where the first £60 million of dementia funding has gone. So you haven't made it a priority, have well, you? Well, it is a government priority. You're not conforming to the typical actress stereotype. I mean, you're a very healthy figure, beautiful girl, I'm guessing a size 8 or a 10. Do you think it's important for, for young women to, to project the right image? <gasps> oh, my God, of course it is. I'm really passionate about it. I remember walking back from, from our live position at about 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, New York time, and looking at this gaping hole in the sky. Mm. And that still hits me now. You know when you, if you fly into New York and you see the skyline, there's just this massive hole where those towers once stood. And it was very difficult to take it in. Here he is, Naughty Boy himself. Well, welcome. Do you know, I love your story. I love the fact that you were making your music in your mum and dad's garden shed. And then you went to my dad's favourite programme, Deal or No <laughs> Deal. <laughs> and you won 44,000 and your life changed, didn't it? How did your life change? It's a good job, John, you're not wearing your blue safari well, suit. Well, no, I, mean, I, it. I was flashed. He is, the blue suit, the pink tie. And do you know something? He said in a couple of interviews a few months ago that he really wanted me to play that role. He's nicked the role. I think he needs a month. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for today. On tomorrow's show, Bob Barrett, who plays Holby City's Dr. Sasha Levy, joins me to talk about his latest emotional storyline. Enjoy your bank holiday, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.